What's going on guys? My name's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the new flight model that's been introduced into Star Citizen Alpha 3.5 patch. And it's, yes, this, this patch has been a massive one in terms of like Star Citizen, not only for like extra content being put in, but for the huge fundamental changes to the flight model. And the flight model over the years has seen uh, some drastic changes, but this is probably the biggest departure from what we knew in the past, right? So... Let's just get uh, stopped here. So if we just, we'll go over quickly. We've got the normal speedo bar, and then we've got the red line there, which represents the the, the normal SCM speed or the normal um, operating consistency of the engines. So anything above that's going to be in red on your speedo, and that means your engines are going to be like working overtime to like keep up that speed, right? So it's basically like after burning the whole time. So Afterburner is now Boost, and Boost has been removed from the game, so there's literally only one key. We'll just call it Afterburner for now, because I think that's like the best way. And um, it works a little bit different to the way it did in previous patches, but the, the main differences to this uh, flight model is that the, all the thrusters and the retro thrusters on your ship have got like literally next to no thrust now so it, i mean it is the way it should be because you the thrusters on the side of your ship let's just take a look here you can see how small they are compared to like these big massive main engines on the back of the ship right so it is good what they've done i like it to be honest but the the thrusters just need a little bit more power so in previous patches it was like 100 percent power between everything you could like you could turn around, you could strafe and afterburn at the same like power output as your main engine, which obviously wasn't right, but it was fun. Let's be honest about it. And um, so they've, they've knocked that down. I, I mean, I'm not sure for the exact numbers, but take the engine being 100% thrust and the thrust has been at around like 15, 20% now, or maybe say less than that, because they're absolutely, I mean, you can say I'm strafing here on the Sabre, which is like basically built for strafing. And it's like hardly doing anything. So this has been like a massive adjustment for me because I love strafing. Like around people and stuff really close. Like sub 100 meters and uh, things like that. But it is dangerous now and it's it's pretty hard to do. But for now we'll just go over the, the, the way you actually fly. So when you start your ship you'll have the, the, the red bar. Well your top SCM we'll call it. And your speed limiter bar. So this is the main change. So if we just use a mouse wheel, so we can set the speed limiter to whatever. So this is like max speed, obviously. And what this allows you to do is like really, instead of having precision mode now, we can just set with thrust power to like near nothing or a speed limiter to near nothing, which is really cool for when you just want to like burn around a little bit. So if we just go forward, so this is basically standard, yeah, it's going to... We're holding forward and it's not going to let we go over the speed limit. So it basically does what it says on the tin. It limits your speed a little bit. Let's just stop. There we go. And we can actually set this on the fly as well. So if we want to go a little bit slower. Or we want to go really fast. We can push it up there. Let's just get it back down. So, I mean, you can see the deceleration, acceleration time is really low compared to what they used to be. And there's also now uh, called cruise control, a key called cruise control. I think the default C, but I've, I mean, I've changed my keys all around. So as soon as I press it, you'll see the little arrow pops up here next to the speed limiter. So think of this as the old coupled way. So we'll go off, we'll just put the speed up to whatever. And the IFCS system is just going to do whatever it can. To keep at that speed at whatever vector we're going at. So yeah, just basically flying like a plane. Look at these huge drifts you get into though. Just even going low speeds. IFCS working overtime. So there we go, it's going to bring the vector back round. So just like, just like uh, coupled in the old patches. It's really good for landing as well because... I'll just knock that off a sec. You can set your thrust to low, so you've basically got like a precision mode at your fingertips. That's what it is. So it's really nice. Right, so getting on to decoupled. This is the new icon there. That's flashing. I'm not sure why they've taken the actual name of coupled and decoupled off. I mean, I think that was more common sense than this. So this is the way I fly. I go decoupled. And we just push that all the way to the top. I'm going to make a hotkey so it's just set max as soon as I get in the ship. And then that's it. This is literally exactly the same as I used to fly 
in uh, 263 and 3 point whatever it was, 3-4, whenever the last time the game felt decent. So the only thing that's different is again the thrust output powers. So you've still got to watch where you're going. So you can't like just decelerate super quick face and forwards. So if I just give you a quick example here. So let's just accelerate. So to decelerate maximum we need to flip our ship round and just use our main engine with the afterburner on to slow down. And it is, it does look a little bit weird but it is absolutely amazing when you get it right. Because if, if we just start using the normal thrusters, you see it's like hardly slowing it down with little side thrusters. And it takes absolutely ages. I mean, it's it's way too long. From full speed to zero, the saber will stop in 17 seconds, and that's way crazy. In 10 seconds, if you actually use the, the main engine, if you do the 180 main engine uh, stop. I'm sure there's like a technical term for it. But I'm, uh, I'm not up to speed on all that stuff, you know, I just like shooting people. But it's it's very very drifty like if you haven't played it yet compared to the the 263 and three point whatever's very drifty guys very drifty so you've got to literally counter a lot of it by yeah, using the main engine thrust to slow yourself down so it did take a lot of getting used to for me since like I've played the game loads over the years uh, like a lot of combat especially and it's the, one of the main things, I mean, I was telling this to Madness today on his stream, the main thing to watch for is the, the deceleration times after you approach your target. So, if we're going to this guy, I mean, we can't go full speed and then stop within 500 meters like we could in the past, right? With the thrusters being, like, broken. So, you've got to really watch it. Uh, and a lot of the time when I'm engaging people now, I'll, I'll sort of sit slow and then see what they're doing. If they're coming towards me like really fast, I know they're going to have a really tough time slowing down. So I'll just have to burn backwards and that'll sort of counter the jousting, if you know what I mean, because jousting is like massively prevalent right now, even in the the smaller ships. Uh, the, the Gladius, the Arrow and the Buccaneer are pretty much like the win buttons right now. So, because they actually do still, I mean the Arrow especially, it still strafes decently. And in Arena Commander, the, like the strafing is still pretty prevalent too because of the, just the small space, I think. It's not really anything to do with uh, the flight model, it's just that's the way people fly. And to be honest, I don't know why people have got like a huge problem with strafe fights because that's inevitably the way it's going to turn out. Like, not really, not matter what mode you're in, coupled or decoupled now because of the huge drifts. So that's just the way it's going to be, I think. Um, but controlling the drifts, like having to use the main engine, I think it adds a little bit of, I wouldn't say a skill, but a little bit more thought of, of um, what you're trying to do. So, oh, there's me phone ringing, guys. Rip. So, so yeah, you need to, you just need to be well more aware of the way your ship's flying, I think. It's not really, like you can't stop on a dime anymore, so. You need to think about what you're doing and pay attention to, to the, what your target's doing as well. So if they're like flying like a 90 degree, you need to be like, I mean, it's good for me because I can just use the track IR look at the target still and just push the power to the vector I need to, to get the max like stopping time or intercept time. So yeah, it's, um, hmm. I think it's like 80% there, the way they want it. Oh, we've got a naughty man coming in here. We'll have to, to show you some PvP as well later. And um, one of the other big changes is the atmospheric flight. So it's literally sort of mimicking the way it is properly. So if you're in a like a plane sort of shaped ship like the Saber here or the Gladius, you're going to find a much better time flying in atmosphere. And you've actually got to like sort of bank around the corners to get the maximum lift from the air and things. And it's like really cool the way it works. We'll, we'll probably do that in a separate video because I'm not really... Sure, and all the terminology, I'll have to do some research about the way it works properly and the, the way the, the air's affecting the, the wings and the planes and stuff. So, basically, being more aerodynamic, the better, right? In atmosphere now, and the atmospheric flight compared to previous patches is absolutely amazing. Like, the only thing is because I haven't got pedals, like, you can see the roll's quite tough. So, if you've got pedals, you can control your turns a lot better. So I think we're definitely going to be have to picking some of them up or just some curves here. I'm not sure if you can do it like for the keyboard or whatnot, but we'll, we'll have a look. But yeah, guys, that's um, 
pretty much the 3.5 model and a little bit of my thoughts. Probably for the next video I've got a ton. Oh, what the hell? Another classic SC bug there. I've got a ton of footage of like PvP stuff, but I'd probably want to try and do something live and explain what I'm doing as I'm going. It's all like I do when I'm streaming and stuff, so... If you want to try and catch some of that, um, Twitch TV dot, well, Twitch twitch.tv slash epexact uh, check it out I'll leave some links in the channel but uh, just watch out for other videos as well because we'll definitely be there's a lot of star setters and stuff to cover and uh, we're, we're still busy doing some eve things as well so watch out for that too guys all right that's wrap that up then thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one